Hello and welcome to this episode of At the Engineer's Bench. My name is Radoslav Volchev and today I'm going to introduce our latest software solution for automatic motor parameter measurement and vector control optimization, the Motor Tuning Studio version 1.0. Our solution has two main components, a fully scalable and configurable standard Toshiba motor control firmware with built-in capabilities for motor parameter measurement and a PC tool that is capable of optimizing and measuring the PI gain values for speed, current and position and as well control the entire measurement flow. The motor control firmware is executed on one of our evaluation boards either for M4K or for M3H group of motor control microcontrollers. Additionally, we have a power board which houses the gate driver, the MOSFETs in H-Breach configuration, the circuitry for sensing voltage and uh, motor current and is currently configured for frequent current sensing. Let us look at our firmware. The firmware package comes with projects for three of the most popular ideas IER Embedded Workbench, Kyle Microprocessor Development Kit MDK for ARM and Sega Embedded Studios. These are pre-built for the demonstration kit shown in this video and 24V BLDC motor, the ACT42 BLF01. The pre-built binaries can be used for programming the MCU flush directly so that we can uh, start easily with the evaluation. The Windows 10 PC tool features two modes of operation, basic and advanced. These differ in the level of functionality provided and fine-tuning capabilities. With its simple interface, BASIC mode aims to reduce the complexity of the flow, minimizing the number of inputs needed, allowing fast and easy measurement with optimum number of parameters to adjust. The mode is meant for initial setup and getting a motor up and running within a short time. Advanced mode allows for enhanced measurement and detailed tuning with the control characteristics featuring the possibility to adjust the measurement conditions, limit the gain range, set dump ratio, etc. The first step is to establish communication with the evaluation board and the PC over UART. When accomplished, all controls will become accessible, changing their colors from gray to black. The status window indicates the connection status, current operation, measurement mode and the revision of the firmware on the target. The default parameter set, as pre-compiled with the firmware, will be loaded from the target to the PC tool. This includes board configuration, known motor parameters and initial PI gains. To start a measurement in basic mode, it is sufficient to provide the number of poles, rated speed, rated current and overcurrent limit or confirm that the preloaded values are correct. The preloaded motor driving configuration and board parameters must be suitable for the target system. Otherwise, the measurement will not be successful. Once measure error is clicked, it will take a while with the motor energized but in still stand. The completion will be signaled with a short beep. The values will be automatically updated in the window. Those need to be saved or exported to either initialization file, ENI, XML or C header file for usage with the tool, former or MCU Motor Studio. Advanced mode is as easy to use as basic. It has controls for adjusting various parameters that affect either the measurement or the measurement environment, such as startup current for the motor, acceleration and deacceleration factors, dump ratio, range for the PI gain values, etc. Once the gain measurement is started, the motor will revolve at various speeds and the measurement will be performed. The end will be signaled with a short beep and the control windows will be updated with the measurement results. We have an additional status window that displays all the information about the current measurement that is being done. 
Now that the motor is characterized and the PI regulators are configured, a test run shall be performed to validate our result. A speed in Hertz can be selected in either directions. Run stop controls the execution. The graph window allows real-time monitoring of up to four signals individually scalable in both X time and Y value axis. The configuration is only possible with a motor stopped. Finally, the parameters can be saved or exported to the desired format. Initialization file, which are preloaded values in format internal to the motor tuning studio, XML file for parameter exchange with our other tool, the MCU Motor Studio, or C header file for building a control motor control format. In this episode, you have seen our solution that helps measure various motor parameters such as a phase resistance, phase inductance, moment of inertia, and allows to configure the control parameters for effective, smooth, and flawless operation of any BLDC motor system. The Motor Tuning Studio complements our MCU Motor Studio, allowing to have a complete design flow. Thank you very much for watching this video. We will be more than happy to answer any questions you may have or to support you evaluating our motor control solutions.